Hello everyone, uh, this is a pickups video again. My last video I uploaded is a pickups video. But this stuff piles up pretty fast, so I need to get it put into a video. Um, and it's all over here again. Here's my trusty sidekick. Uh, the first thing I got here is... This is a Mythical Pokemon collection. It's the uh, Mew edition. It has a Mew promo card, a Mew pen, and two booster packs. Um, they're going to put out one of these each month from February on this year for Pokemon's 20th anniversary. Um, this is the first one, the February edition, it's Mew. The second one, uh, which will be in March, I think it's shipping soon actually, I have it pre-ordered. Um, it's Celebi, so I'm going to try to get all these. I love Pokemon, um, so the 20th anniversary means a big deal to me too. So I kind of went all out on... 20th anniversary, as you'll see, I have a few things for the anniversary. Um, that's the first thing there. Um, the next thing I got for the anniversary is the new 3DS system. Um, I'm not going to use this, it's just going to be a collector's item. But uh, it's very cool, it comes with the face plates for red and blue. <coughs> and uh, it also has the games pre installed on it. Very cool. Um, I have some other items for the 20th anniversary coming, and I showed you guys the Mew I already got. I wanted the Celebi like that too, I might still get it, but it's like $30. The Mew is only 10 so it's easier. Um, the next thing I got here is the Mega Man Legacy Collection 3DS Special Edition thing with the gold amiibo and whatnot. Um, I'm not going to open this because I'm going to play the PS4 version when it comes with all that stuff. Go ahead, hate on me because I like to keep things sealed. It's okay. It's not okay. You leave me alone. But anyways, this is really cool. Um, I got these from a thrift store at Goodwill for very cheap. 49 cents each. I've been watching anime a lot more recently. And uh, Dragon Ball has been the one I've been, mostly been watching. I got these Dragon Ball VHS tapes. This is Curse of the Blood Rubies. This is actually a movie. And then these have like a few episodes on them. It's Dragon Ball 1. It's got a couple episodes. This is number 4. Number 2. And number 6. I have all the Dragon Ball episodes on DVD, so I won't be watching these. But very cool for, you know, like $2.50 all together. Or even less than that, actually. But yeah, very cool. Um... See, what do I want to show first? I have a stack of games over here, I guess I'll go through. Um, the first one here, I got Lego Batman the game. I want to get more into the Lego games. Uh, the only one I've played is Lego Marvel Superheroes. Um, I've been wanting to try the Batman games. I try to stay away from the ones that just follow the movie storyline, just kind of in a goofy way. I mean, I have no problem with it. It's just I already know the story. Not that these have a, probably a very intriguing story anyways. But this is another one of the original stories from LEGO, which is the Batman trilogy. Um, I have number two coming from uh, Black and Blue 19, Mr. Eric Molloyd. Um, I also got LEGO Batman 3, Harry Potter 1 through 4. I've been loving the Harry Potter world. I'm almost finished with the second book, so I had to get this and play through that. Picked up Catherine, finally. I've been wanting this game for a while. Um, I hear it's a very weird game, but very cool game. So, Like I said, I've been watching Dragon Ball, so I had to pick up Season 4. I'm just picking them up, picking them up as I go, and uh, I'm like a little ways into Season 3, so I went ahead and got 4, so I'd be ready for whenever we get to that one. Um, I went to an estate sale, and I found these for $5 each. I got Alice Madness Returns. I've been wanting this game for a while. I don't know very much at all about it, but it looks cool, so I want to try it. And I also found Beyond Two Souls. This is the game I'm going to be trading to Eric for uh, Lego Batman 2. And I got all these from my good buddy Christopher Hader, aka DC Radia, if that's how you say it. He's never told me that's not how you say it, so I'm not sure. Um, I won his contest. And uh, I already showed these in a contest, the contest video, but a uh, sealed pack of Power Ranger cards from the 90s. 
can't remember what year exactly. I wonder if I can find it. 1994? Is that what it says? Very cool. Uh, Monster Hunter Try. I've not tried any of the Monster Hunter games, so I want to try that one. I want a Monster Hunter Try that. <laughs> um, Resident Evil Dead Aim. I love the Resident Evil series. I hear this one isn't very good, I think. If this is the one I'm thinking of, it might have been that Survivor one. But uh, very cool to have the collection nonetheless. Uh, Rayman. I've been wanting to try the Rayman series, and I love like the PS1 platformers and stuff, so this is very cool. And also, Tenkai Knights. I don't know a lot about this, but he told me a little, about it, little bit about it. Sounds very cool. It's still sealed. That's very cool of him. Very cool guy. Check his channel out if you haven't. Um, I also won from him this shirt. It is the from the Loot Crate. Uh, the Green Ranger and the White Ranger. I need to wash this to see if it shrinks. Because it is like a triple X. Um, I picked this bad boy up when I went to... But I picked all those up. Okay, this is one of the things... That I went to West Virginia with my fiancé because she had a medical school interview. And I my I had to check out of... I my... Uh, uh, anyways, I had to check out of the hotel at 11. And her interview lasted till 2. So she told me to just go look around at GameStop. And so I went and looked around at GameStop. This one on clearance. And uh, it is a watch from Majora's Mask 3D. It was on sale for like $12 or something. It was... It was more expensive than that. I want to say it was like 20 something or 30 something. Um, a few more games here. I also got this from GameStop at that same trip Dead Space Extraction. I've been really wanting to try this because I love the Dead Space series, so I had to get that. It was like $3 or something. Um, for Valentine's Day, oh, I also got this in West Virginia. I decided to go look at Walmart. Just to see if they had this, because I've been looking for this at Walmart, because I see they pop up there every once in a while. Um, this is getting re-released as a Nintendo Selects, but before that, this is hard to find. So, I was very happy to find this for retail instead of the $80, $90 it was online. Um, for Valentine's Day, my fiancé gave me a GameStop gift card, so I ended up getting Darksiders 2. I love the first Darksiders. Um, I started playing the second one a while back, but I, for some reason I didn't really get too far into it. Not because I didn't like it or anything, just sidetracked or moved or something. And then this edition got announced, so after a major price drop, I picked it up because I'm going to play that one. Um, another thing for the anniversary of Pokemon, uh, the Steelbook was released with Pokemon 1, 2, and 3 on it. Very cool. All good movies, by the way. My favorite's probably one. And it has the 20th anniversary sticker on there. I'm telling you, I went all out for the 20th anniversary. They got a lot of money from me. Um, I got a email from Amazon saying, if you order this game, you will get a $10 gift card or something. So I was like, I might as well. So I just ordered Life is Strange and got $10 back from it to use on something else. This is the limited edition. It comes with a... 32 page art book, director's commentary, licensed soundtrack. I really want to try this game. I love these kinds of games where it's just mostly story, you know, and I hear lots of good things, so happy to have that. I can't remember if I already showed this, but I got the yellow version of the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Boom Studios edition of comics. They have a new series out now. I am now subscribed to it, so I should be getting the issues in the mail. But I'm kind of confused because the next one said number three was coming, and where's number two? Because this is number zero, so I'm assuming this is like one. But they did every single Ranger, but they're all super hard to find now. I, f I think I saw the original f five Power Rangers on eBay for maybe like $40. I might get that eventually. But the Green Ranger and the White Ranger, oh my god, they're like $90 or something. So yeah, this is very cool. I read a couple pages of it. Um, it seems like it's retelling the story of Tommy, pretty much. If you know that story, Rita Repulsa, you know, gets him to be bad and whatnot. But uh, yeah. Uh, my buddy Yesay Asha here on YouTube. Very cool guy. Funniest channel I've ever seen, like honestly. Go check him out if you haven't. It's Yesay Asha, Y-E-S-S-A-Y 
space A S H A. Yes, Ayasha. Uh, he sent me this because he knew I loved me some Power Rangers. This is from the 90s, from 1994. Uh, it is a walkie talkie. That kind of comes out, but it's okay. Um, I'm assuming there's supposed to be two of these so you can talk to each other. But this is going to look really cool on the shelf. I love old 90s stuff like this. Um, thank you very much, dude. I really appreciate it. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? I'll save that for a little bit. Um, I told myself I was not going to get into World of Nintendo because I already clicked Amiibos, but there's been a little a bit of an, an Amiibo slowdown. They're about to pop back up in March, but... So, I ended up... I accidentally got some World of Nintendo stuff. Um, the first one here, I got a little Ganondorf. I got really lucky and went to Walgreens and found a white 8-bit Link. I need, I need the red one now. Um, I got the Piranha Plant. I got Skull Kid. This seems like it's the exact same pose as the uh, 3DS Special Edition, but I mean that's a pretty common pose anyways. Like he's doing it on the in the game and stuff. Um, picked up regular Luigi and uh, Tetra. If you don't know who Tetra is, play Wind Waker. Um, the normal Mario. And to Timothy Crawford, uh, I know I told you I don't want 15 different poses of Mario and Luigi. But I mean, they're only like $3 or something, so I thought, why not? They're, very, they're really cool. I really like these figures, actually. I'm not going to actively pursue every single one, but if I see one I don't have when I'm at the store's grocery shopping or something, I'll get them. Like, I originally went to Walgreens just to look for that white link. And, well, I actually went to Walgreens to get a Valentine's Day card. I decided to check for the white link, and they just happened to have one left. So I went ahead and grabbed all these, all the rest of them, too. Um, the other two I got from Walgreens that day was I got Fire Luigi and Tanuki Mario. This one's a really cool one. I don't have any Tanuki Marios or anything. I really want Shy Guy, Gravity Suit Samus, and the Skyward Sword Link, but these are very cool. So yeah, not actively pursuing those, like I'm not going to go online and drop money to complete my collection or anything, they're just kind of there. Um, I got these, we go shopping for groceries every week obviously, and if I see some of these I don't have, I just grab them by the register. I got a Ice Luigi. Fire Mario and Yoshi. Um, when, when I said I went to West Virginia and I was looking around at the GameStop, there was a clearance section. I know I don't need these, but they were on sale for like 97 cents. So I got this Luigi Happy Holidays bag, um, this Happy Holidays 8 bit, 8 -bit Mario bag. Um, here's some like wrapping paper, and it looks like some yarn or ribbon or something. But uh, there's Peach on there and Bowser. This is just really cool. And uh, this Zelda one. Oh, there's Mario again. I forgot that one's in there. And Zelda. So these are all on sale for 97 cents. They're just cool. They're just cool little. They were cheap, so why not? They were cheap, and I hoard video game stuff, so. Um, and my biggest pickup, I also got some Pokemon cards, but I don't think you want to see all those. But my biggest pickup was this bad boy. I got a Alienware laptop. Um, it's a 17.3 inch um, Ultra HD uh, 4K display. Uh, an i7... 128 gigs STD STD I said STD not sexually transmitted transmitted diseases but a solid state drive SSD and a one terabyte hard drive for the storage 16 gigs of RAM I think it has like a GTX 980 or 970 something like that I can't remember which one and then uh 
is that all the specs? Did I forget anything? I think that's it. Um, but yeah, that was my biggest pickup, and also, it doesn't have a, uh, disk drive, so I went ahead and got a cheap little external Blu-ray drive. And a bag for it, just so I can haul it around. Um, I'm starting a computer science program pretty soon. I graduate the school I'm in now in four months. That'll be a bachelor's in healthcare administration, and I'm going to use that to get into the computer science program at Oregon State. And I'm going to need a nice laptop like that because I plan on doing some Unreal Engine work and some Unity and stuff. And also all the coding and all that. And also I want a game on it so it had to be at least a little bit better than a normal laptop. But yeah, that's the big pickup. Um, I think that's everything. I'm looking around. Um, I think that's everything. Well, uh... Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment. What did you like the best? What did you pick up? You know, whatever. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.